Hi, welcome to another gel printing episode with Patricia Stewart or Patricia Stewart Originals. I was playing around with some uh, water, liquid watercolors. This, these are from uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydra Spine Art Watercolors. And I wanted to try um, doing a background with the watercolors. I usually use acrylic, but I wanted to uh, change the background and try the watercolors, the different effect. Now, when you first roll these out, it really seems as though nothing is adhering to the plate. Absolutely nothing. It beads up. And nothing happens. What I also did was use a little rubbing alcohol I want to see what effect that would have and then I decided to use a sheet of glassine as opposed to jelly paper because it doesn't seem to work as well with jelly paper so I'm using some glassine and glassine hugs the gel plate quite nicely then I lift it off and you have this nice watery effect. But as it dries uh, with the alcohol on it, it then um, has a nice background design. And I'm going to clean the rest of this off with a sheet of computer paper that works well with the watercolors also. And it gives you this nice effect. So here we have this uh, nice effect. Now the glassine is almost dry. So what I thought to do was to add now, go in using acrylic, but using one of my handmade stencils and uh, this is made of um, cardstock paper okay so i'm going to use some acrylic teal golden fluid acrylics I mix a little white. I want to just get it into 
the openings as best as I can. Sometimes it spills open over the sides. But it doesn't have to, you know. It's just for, you know, the effect of having the lines. Okay. Go in and wipe up some that came. And so. I'm going to go in with a computer paper and pick up the stencil marks. Which that comes up pretty nicely if you want to look at it from across or going up and down. That's pretty good. Give the glassine another minute to dry. Um, I'm going to go back in. Uh, for the last scene and I'm going to use a little Payne's gray now this stencil I made I noticed like when I go over it too many times with paint uh, in this regard uh, with the straight uh, narrow lines that I have. When it gets a little too wet, it starts to uh, take up some of the um, paper peels up. Usually my stencils have uh, more openings to them. Okay, so the stencil, you have to use enough paint, and then sometimes in this case, it'll go over the sides a little bit because I'm using liquid. Okay, so the glass seams is pretty much ready and I'm going to put it in the It's just a different effect of a background than using acrylic for the background. And so you have the lines here. So I'll do it again just to get the panes gray and the bottom parts I didn't get since my stencil is more made for 8 by 10 and I'm, I'm using a 9 by 12 gel plate here I meant to say that 9 by 12. Okay, let's skip that. Bottom part. Let's 
there. There we have it. And so now to finish it off, I'll use the stencil again, but I'll turn it over because I don't want more blue. And I'll add, we'll go back over the glassine, but I'll add some white. Get some of this blue off the wire. Pressing a little too hard on the brayer will put it on the sides, but it's not really a big deal. I'm going more for organic. There's no such thing as being a perfectionist with anything. Okay, so I'm going to lay the glass scene sort of slightly to the side of the blue, so the white. And the good thing with the glass scene is that you can see through the paper, so you can see where the white and the blue, so that you can still see a little blue along with the white. Let's see if I can pick up pick up some white there. Okay. But you get the idea. So we could see that you have a little white mixed in. And sort of just give a just a little bit for the bottom. And it gives a nice effect. a nice effect of the white mixed, mixed in as a shadow behind the blue. This last two lines. There we have it. And this makes for a nice um, background. So I'll try it again with the computer paper. Let's try. 
try another color. over the turquoise. Um, let's see. I'll try a little manganese blue, slightly darker blue. So what we get, the effect of that color. Okay. Now you can't see as well at all through this, so I'm just eyeballing it. We can pick up that other blue on top. That would be great. There, they have it. It actually went in between, which is good. I think I like it better going this way. So that's just a different, interesting effect using watercolor uh, with a little alcohol sp uh, sprinkled on top, and then lay whatever paper you're going to use. And then come in with whatever stencil. If you have stencil, a stencil that has straight lines, um, we give it a nice effect uh, with the straight lines. I haven't tried it with any other shape. Thanks for stopping by.